Hello! In the last few videos we analyzed hands from the highest buying tournaments and today we're going to other end of spectrum and we'll look at 130 euro Polish poker championship main event that took place in Bratislava. This is like comparing a Champions League match to Sunday League. They still play the same game with the same rules, but if you look closer the level of play is much different. With the hands I've chosen today, I want to focus on the most common mistakes made on lower stakes tournaments. Before we get to that, I want to tell you that we run Black Friday sale with up to 40% discount. Check the link in the description to learn more about this offer. Number 1. Playing too tight. This was a huge tournament with 7000 entries and we are at 2 tables left. There is a lot of money on top with more than 100k for first prize and now players are guaranteed less than 3k. First hand we see a chip leader open folding king 9 suited on hijack. This is a good time to build a big stack and folding this hand is pretty bad. It's impossible to avoid all preflop mistakes but in high stakes tournaments we usually see spots where someone is maybe one pip off and here we see that he should open up to king 5 suited so he is way off by at least 5 full combos. And if everyone plays too tight, I would advise to go even wider than GTO and in this situation probably opening all suited kings will be even better. Here is another example of playing too tight. This time we have a short stack on the bottom who open folded queen jack off on 9 big blinds. This is also not a close spot and he could raise up to queen 9 off here. He is the shortest stack in the tournament and still has a good fold equity. It's not a time to fold out to final table, because it simply won't happen. Don't go crazy, but as the shortest stack, you still need to pick up some chips and take some risks. Next hand we have the same player on blind vs blind battle. Small blind decided to raise small with effective stacks below 10 big blinds. Solver prefers to jam or limp, but against such a tight player that overfolds a lot, raising might be better here. Ace for off is just too good to fold. Even against a gem it's an easy call, but against a race it gets even better, because small blind should gem here almost all aces, so big blind is never dominated. This regem against a player who is raising small with too many hands is printing money, and most of the time wins a lot of chips without showdown. Number 2. Calling bad hands versus strong ranges. Here we see an early position open from a player with a stack below 20 big blinds. Action folded to chip leader on the button and he decided to call queen jack off. This hand might look pretty, but it's pretty bad in this scenario. There are two resolving stacks on blinds and this hand versus tight range can only get you into trouble. Going back to point 1, he can expect the early position player to be even tighter than he should so this call gets even worse. Next hand takes place on the final table bubble and starts with a race from the chip leader. Here the solver doesn't love that open, but it's right on the edge. GTO prefers to open hands with good blockers and better raw equity, but I don't hate it. Because, as we will see in a moment, we're not going to get 3 bet enough and this hand has some nice playability post flop. Now action is on small blind and we can see that his main response against cutoff open should be just jamming. Here we can see that ace jack off is a borderline hand and solver mixes all three possible actions. Jamming is the most common one and that is probably the best option in stronger fields because there is no room to make a mistake and this hand is perfect for that because of its blockers. I would prefer to raise small here because I think it would have similar fold equity but if we 3 bet it it should be with intention to fold to 4 bets. The third option call in my opinion is the worst one. We often will get to freeway and we will play this hand that is very hard to play out of position against two players. Solver can justify calling here, but it won't make any mistakes post flop. So we had two small mistakes, but the biggest one in the hand comes from big blind. He called ace deuce off here and it's not even close. Here he should fold hands as strong as ace 9 and fold a lot of offsuit hands. He has a middle stack in the field and will play this awful hand against two players that cover him. This is just bleeding chips. Actually calling 5-3 off in this situation has better EV. I hope you liked this video, let me know about other common mistakes you see on lower stakes.
Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye.